Okay, so this reading is for Libra. So let's go ahead and get started. So the overall energy for you guys, okay, is the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. I mean, Eight of Wands. So somebody is really missing somebody here. They want to communicate, okay? Well, somebody can be regretting some type of text message or something that they had sent here. But I'm getting like somebody really missed somebody and they want to communicate with them. Okay, but there was some type of regret when it came to some type of fast communication that had came in. So the way you could potentially be feeling about the person that you're thinking about or dealing with Libra, okay, is the Queen of Wands energy. So you could be feeling real confident, bold, you know, um, feeling like real spontaneous, you know, when it comes to this person. This is the kind of energy that I'm getting. Um, you feel like really good, you know, when it comes to this person. They could be an Aries Leo or Sag, yeah. Okay, two of wands. So you feel like this is a good, you feel confident in the direction that this situation or this connection is going, okay? Or this connection is um, hidden here. So that the way this person is feeling about you and this connection is they're feeling like they're willing to endure anything here in this relationship or in this connection with you. Um, I kind of feel like this person felt like they sacrificed, they sacrificed. <laughs> sacrificed a lot here okay they had they in this indecisive type of energy i kind of feel like this could be what they indecisive about okay whether or not they're willing to sacrifice or this is something that is being questioned okay i'm not sure why okay so we have the devil here and we have the emperor okay so there's something toxic going on here okay in this situation okay this could be a toxic father a toxic baby father okay a toxic common connection with a male energy here okay so somebody is indecisive for whether or not they all in or whether or not they willing to sacrifice in this situation due to a toxic child's father okay or a toxic husband or a toxic comic partner okay so this is why they indecisive i was like i don't know why but this is it Okay, this person could be a Capricorn or Aries. Okay, or some addictions. There could be addictions here that somebody needs to control. Okay, so this is the reason why somebody is willing to sacrifice. Okay, they're not sure whether or not they, they're willing to sacrifice in this situation. It's like they're willing to, but they indecisive of whether or not they should stick in there and sacrifice or stand in there here due to these addictions or whatever this is to somebody control their evictions or something like that here yeah i kind of feel like they do want some victory so they do want to overcome something here so if this is addictions they want to overcome this okay or they want somebody to be strong enough to overcome this and take control okay um or if this is another person or another partner that somebody is attached to due to obligations they want to overcome this okay they want to be able to endure it and stick through it but whatever this shit is going on with this other person or these addictions is just a little bit too much but they do want to see some type of victory but they have to put up these boundaries okay in place so somebody has to put up these boundaries you know that's the only way that this shit is going to work out so in the past we had this nine of swords energy so somebody could have been like stressed out okay um stressed worried yeah when it came to friends or group situations or when somebody went out or whatever the case may be, okay? So this caused, like, a lot of stress, okay? Friends caused a lot of stress. Going out and partying caused a lot of stress and anxiety here. Yeah, somebody is a loner. They'd rather be alone or rather be to themselves or just... They just don't fucking really feel like dealing with other people here, okay? This is the energy, so, yeah, somebody that's saying really want to feel like dealing with other people. They wanted to be alone, you know, by themselves. They didn't really like hanging out. Like, being around other people was too much. Like, I kind of feel like one person liked to be around others. One person is, like, confident, a go-getter, you know, bold. They like to take risks, you know. they they One person is more, like, popping than the other. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it, but one person is, like, more, like, of the one that's like, they're the ones like, come on, let's go do this. Come on, let's go do that. Or 
uh, let's go here, let's go there, or whatever the case would be, the fun one, you know, and the other one is like, blah, like, I'd rather sit home, read a book, or I don't feel like being around these people, or, you know, they the introverted type of one, and one is like an extrovert, okay, um, so we have Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, and uh, Aries Leo Sag coming out now. Somebody kept this to themselves, though, okay, or like to say themselves or kept to themselves that they were stressed out when somebody would go out with their friends or when they would go out and party or when somebody would go out and drink or whatever. This caused a lot of anxiety, okay, or worry or fear around somebody here, but they didn't really say this or something like that. No. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, so this could be like family, okay, around family here. Somebody could have been nervous or something when they got around somebody's family. This is like a family reunion or a family gathering or some type of family party. A family celebration. And somebody could have got stressed and nervous or, you know, real anxiety around people. So he decided to like stay back or they probably decided to stay the fuck home. Or get on social media or whatever the case may be. But I'm getting like somebody really don't like to be around a lot of people. Like somebody is like this. This is literally like somebody is like the type of person who'll stay home worrying a lot. Like to be on social media. But they like to be alone. And the other person likes to be like out having fun around family, friends, chilling, partying. Like this is what I'm kind of getting here between these people. It's like two different energies. They say opposite people attract to each other, so. Magician. Seven of Cups. I kind of feel like somebody creates problems or somebody is creating something here, like creating this illusion or creating these problems or whatever this worry is or stress is that somebody is having within a situation, this is being created. Like somebody's being manipulated or something here. And it could be by friends or family. So somebody could have been like manipulated by their friends or family. Okay. And this was what could have had caused confusion in this connection or something like that here because we do have friends and family here okay and this could have been like stressing somebody else out and they could have been leaving somebody like alone or in the dark or you know leaving somebody to themselves because somebody was being manipulated by like their friends and family here And manipulation causes confusion. Yeah. Well, somebody had all these fearful thoughts here. Okay, like I said, somebody was like indecisive. Whoever this is was indecisive. Okay, about whether or not they should like stick in there or hang in there. They creating a whole bunch of this shit in their mind. Like it's like they they looking at like. The negative shit okay and this is what's causing the this is what's causing the uh the shit to manifest into the reality like you know it's causing a problem it's like there's probably not even a problem but it's something that's causing it because somebody is like manifesting it or trying to see the bad or <sighs> yeah they have like toxic thought pattern or something this is like sabotaging so currently we have the Empress here. So somebody could possibly be pregnant or this is definitely a twin flame connection here. Okay. Or a husband and wife type of connection with the Emperor and the Empress. Okay. But um, the Empress is the current energy. And then Seven of Cups is at the bottom. 
the, this, the empress could have been the person that was confused, but this is the person that's making all the plans, okay? So this is somebody who was making plans. So then I say, like, it was one person here that was more exciting than the other person. So the empress is the more exciting one uh, than the other person. Okay, this could be the Libra. But this Libra is making plans here to move forward in the situation here. Yeah, they had... They moving forward at the tower moment here, okay? This person had an awakening, okay, or some type of realization here. So they they willing to move forward, okay, after a tower they hit in this connection here. Yeah. So the tower moment has something to do with the past. So they moving forward from past situations or past tower moments, you know. Whoever this um Empress is, they yeah, they moving forward. They make the plans to move forward, okay? Possibly towards a reconciliation or to mend things here. Especially if there was some type of falling out. But I feel like it was a silent falling out. But somebody missed somebody and they missed the communication. So the falling out basically was because two people just didn't disagree. Or somebody had sabotaged the, shit, the situation. Or there was manipulation here. Okay. That caused confusion. But that could potentially be a reconciliation after somebody that has some type of awakening here. Okay? Or something happened to push somebody to move forward towards this reconciliation or coming back together here. So we have Aries, um, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. So the potential outcome here is the five of... So, it, so somebody wants a victory here. They're definitely looking back at the past. Like I said, they really do miss this person or miss, you know, this connection or miss this communication or, you know, they miss con conversating here. So we have the seven of wands. What was that? The seven of wands. Yeah, seven of wands, queen of pentacles, and the ten of swords. So I kind of feel like somebody wants a victory, Okay. But I kind of feel like whoever this earth sign is, the earth sign in the middle, I kind of feel like um, they have put something to an end, okay? But they want this attention from this earth sign or something like that. This earth sign, um, somebody want to move forward towards this earth sign and move forward towards something stable, more successful here, okay? After this ending or after this betrayal. Somebody want to move forward towards the earth sign, who they ended things with. Okay. So this is what they're looking back at. Yeah, I kind of feel like somebody is holding on, okay, for their life or holding back something, okay, making these plans. Yeah, because they in a break or in a breakup or something like that. Somebody is holding on their money, holding on to their money. So I kind of feel like this could possibly even be some type of trip or something that somebody is going on. Because um, that's what I was getting here with this uh, Eight of Wands energy, like going on a trip or something like that. So they can really be like really planning a trip for real. And it's crazy because before I got on here, I was thinking about Hawaii. So I don't know. <laughs> You could be playing a trip to Hawaii, and I was also thinking about a cruise. Um, and this is before I even did this spread. I was thinking about something that I was going to post on um, my social media, right? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about something that I was going to post on my social media. Um, and it has something to do with Hawaii and the cruise. Um, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Virgo. Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, and Sag. So we have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Yeah, so somebody may not understand why. Certain things is happening, but I kind of feel like a blessing is going to be revealed through, you know, whatever this is. Like, I feel like it's really just like a lot of uh, smoke and mirrors. I'm sorry, you guys, because I'm trying to um, hold up. Whew. 
let me fix my shorts. <laughs> okay. Because I'm, um, hold up. It's, I don't know. Okay, hold up. Mm. Oh, damn, we caught that over to the floor, but it's fine. We'll get it later. <clears throat> Okay, um, so what was I saying? Yeah, but something is definitely going to come out of it. Like, something is going to be revealed out of the situation. But I think that somebody was, like, sabotaging this um, situation. So we have the Clovis here. So this is the Six of Diamonds and the Two. So I think that things are definitely going to um, get pat patched up. Patched up. <laughs> Things is going to work out uh, good. I feel like balance is coming. Equal give and take is coming. I feel like things is going to grow in this situation. So something that somebody um, wished for or wanted, I feel like it's going to come happen here. We have, you fill my life with joyful memories. Yeah, because somebody is ready to reconcile. They thinking about this past here. Like I said, somebody is thinking about this past. Okay, connection. They realizing like this is the person that they want to be with or this is who... They want to move forward with. We got this three of wands here coming up twice. Okay. They realize this is the person that they want to move forward with. This child's mother or whoever this is. They see us as empress. We have passion. And then we have abundance. So let's see. Uh, so they have a lot of passion with this person. Or you have a lot of passion with this person. And there's a lot of abundance between you and this person here. But somebody's like regretting or missing this communication. They missing this passion or and all of this. They missing all this good shit. And they having all these realizations here. Okay, any other messages for Libra? So we have welfare queens. So somebody could be on government assistance. And that's not a bad thing. And then we have, I cry myself to sleep. So yeah, whatever happened in the past or took place in the past, it's causing somebody to uh, cry themselves to sleep. Like this is really painful. They have a lot of anxiety. Like they can't sleep. They worry and they stress. Like I feel like this is like in their mind and it's something that's going on like in their mind. Like it's causing them to be like more confused and more emotional and more... You know, the more they cry and the more they worry and all this shit. So, yeah, this is my that's doing all this. And then we have, why are you stepping into a beef that don't have nothing to do with you? Um, fall back. So, yeah, somebody is stepping into a beef or something that don't have nothing to do with somebody else. And I say, like, family and friends could be manipulating this situation here. Okay, so somebody's like, why is you stepping into a beef that don't got nothing, nothing to do with you? Fall back. Okay. Um, I did. I said somebody is coming in, family and friends, or somebody is coming in, um, manipulating and causing confusion into this connection. Okay, let's see who else is here other than the signs and names. <sighs> Leo Moon, Leo Venus, Gemini, Pisces Venus. Okay. So this is the reading. Drop a comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.